Have you ever set up a brand new Mac machine, plugged in your microphone, plugged in your interface, open Ableton Live and suddenly realize Ableton's getting no audio before. Maybe you've even uh, tried it in different programs and it works in GarageBand, it works in Logic, but Ableton will not receive your audio input. If so, stick around because I'm going to show you why and how to solve that. All right, so if you're like me, um, you've gotten a Mac recently in the past couple of years, you've installed Ableton Live, you've gone to record, and Ableton's not receiving input, right? You've got your mic set up correctly, you've got your interface uh, connected correctly, you go into Ableton Live, it even sees your interface, audio input device, universal audio Thunderbolt, everything's looking great. I even look at the interface right now and it's metering. I see the meters. Maybe you've even gone so far as to open GarageBand or Logic and it works in another program, but it doesn't work in Ableton Live. Um, this has happened to me multiple times, so don't feel stupid. And I've had so many people reach out that are incredibly, incredibly intelligent people that have spent time on the phone with Apple to, uh, with troubleshooting and were ready to take their Macs back because they're a piece of junk till they suddenly realize this fantastic setting and uh, the new Mac OSs that prevented this. So when you set up a new audio interface, um, when you open a new um, uh, DAW, any program that makes use of your camera, your uh, microphone, anything like that, you have to allow that on a Mac, right? It's I, I get why Apple did it. It's to make sure people aren't spying on us accidentally and that we've given permission to everyone. But it's one of those annoyances that we often miss when we're quickly trying to set something up and then it messes things up, right? So I can talk in my microphone right now. You look at it in live, it's not metering. Here's how to solve it. I'm gonna close Ableton Live. I would suggest you close your DAW before you do this. Go to System Preferences. I do Command Comma, which is Spotlight, and I start typing to go there. Then I'm gonna to go to System Preferences. We need to go to Security and Privacy, right? And then we're gonna to go to the Privacy tab, which is all the way to the right here. And then we're gonna to go to uh, Microphone. Okay. Um, now, once I go to microphone, you might need to click this lock to make changes if you're not logged in or haven't done that recently. Um, and when you do that, right, it's going to ask for your password. So I'm going to do that now. Don't look. Okay. So I added my password. It's unlocked. Thankfully, you didn't see it. So I'm still secure. And looky right here, what do we see? Ableton Live 10 Suite. Uh, and if you read the prompt, it says, allow the apps below to access your microphone. This is why uh, Ableton is not seeing my microphone. I click this switch here, right? And then I can click this lock to secure it. Now let's go back into Ableton, okay? And let's open this guy up and let's see if we see our microphone. Okay, so we've got Ableton open. I'm gonna go back into preferences, command comma. And then I'm going to reselect my interface here. Let's do built-in microphone for now. Let's do, where was it? Universal Audio Thunderbolt. Now let's look over here at my track, track one. And you see audio from one. It is metering. We are getting audio. Everything is good. Now the thing that it's important to, to remember and realize is every time you install a brand new DAW, it should prompt you uh, to allow it to use your microphone. Don't just breeze through that. Make sure you hit OK. If for some reason you forget that it's not working, maybe you temporarily installed a, a new DAW on your computer to track something, or you're working with someone else, producing a song with someone else, and they're using Logic or Pro Tools, and you have to install a new DAW, make sure you allow access to the microphone for that DAW um, every time you're gonna use it. If you get a new computer, just make sure you remember to do that as well too. So hopefully that helps solve that problem for you. I know it's been an annoyance for me, um, and man, it's such a pain, but that's, Pretty simple problem, right? Pretty simple uh, solution for that and way to solve it. Hey, if you're interested in learning more about performing on stage with Ableton Live or learning more of the ins and outs of using your computer for performance, I encourage you to head to fromstudiotostage.com. While you're there, you can start a free seven-day trial that's going to give you access to all the courses, all the content um, that we have available, as well as our exclusive community. You don't have to do this alone. You don't have to figure it out alone. Um, really, really great group of people that will help answer any question you have as well as a monthly call where every single month we hop on and chat about using able to live and all sorts of different things so if that interests you again head to from studio to stage.com uh, and start a free seven day trial all right that's it thanks so much for watching make sure to hit subscribe so you see all our content and we'll see you next time take care everybody